What is going on YouTube? Juju1313 here. Carter, Edge Mindset. Uh, unboxing. Double unboxing, guys. It's been so long. I haven't unboxed anything in such a long time. Uh, partially laziness. Partially, mostly laziness. I get a package and I'm like, I want to open it. I don't want to wait to film. I just want to open it. So I haven't been doing unboxings. This time I got two, and so I want to because they are really cool in my opinion. I'm excited about both of them. Fun stuff to talk about. I know a lot of you are going to not like either one of these knives, but that's okay. That's life. I'm going to mix them up so I don't even know which one's which. I'm not going to turn them over because I didn't block out my address. So we are... Uh, let's do this one. So we're going to do this. We're going to use the Strider SNG MEFP gray black frag pattern to open this up. Love this knife. Uh, one of my favorites. And once again, kids, um, cut away from you. Don't cut towards you like I just did right then. Stupid. Stupid. Man, it can be hard to cut things in front of a frickin' ooh, okay, what do we got? In fact, I know what we have. This is an Emerson. I know some of you guys have been wondering, am I going to get back into Emerson's? I received some comments about it and I pretty staunchly said, no, sir, I have no desire to get back into Emerson's at all. And lo and behold, uh, here we are. I, I cut an Emerson. This is the first Emerson that I have purchased in probably nine years or so. Uh, it's been a long time. The company has changed a little bit. I guess now you can only order them direct from Emerson's site. They no longer at dealers. I hear that is because of uh, COVID issues and workforce. I don't know. I went with the classic Commander and I am really nerve sided about this. Um, man, Emerson. Ooh, whoa. Oh, okay. Hello. All right. Um, right off the bat, one thing that I can tell is different with these, because I was very curious, have they changed anything? Have they quote unquote improved anything? Um, I knew that there was no obvious things that they've changed, right? Because I've looked at pictures and things like that. I knew the big stuff that they've changed, like the standoffs that happened back in 2013, 14, somewhere around there when they did that, maybe later, maybe 15. Um, I, I knew there wasn't any major changes like that, but I was curious if there was anything that I would notice right off the bat. And there is. The detent is uh, really nice and strong now. Uh, so Emerson's have always been plagued with pretty weak detents. Um, wow. I will admit, first impression is that uh, the quality of this knife is a little better than what I remember. And I've heard that. I've heard other people say that they've improved. Um, I've heard some people say they've improved dramatically. I've heard some people say they've improved like slightly, uh, but I wasn't quite sure what that means. You know, like when you put your hands on it, um, I'm wearing stupid gloves and I try to check the sharpness. No, oh, it doesn't feel sharp. Uh, yeah, because I got gloves on like a freaking idiot. Um, I wasn't quite sure what that means uh, when you say quality is improved. So really cool. Uh, I like that. I'm a detent guy. If you know me, I am a detent whore. Sloppy detents, weak detents really bother me more than they should, uh, but they just do. So this has got a remarkable, wow, remarkable detent. Uh, so if you don't know, the old school Emerson's actually had a double detent system and it still sucked. Like it was still the weakest detent ever. And they had two detents on each side. Uh, pretty interesting thing that they did. They cut a little tab on the non-locking side and had a little mini tab with another detent ball that would engage with the other side of the hole. So the hole went all the way through. And then you had your normal detent here. Uh, but it still didn't work. I, I, I don't know. It still didn't work. But what it did do is it slowed down the action even more and it, it made for a, a poor type knife experience. Uh, so they've clearly fixed that. This detent is really awesome. Um, and I know what you're thinking out there. Stop talking about the, the freaking detent. We don't care. Uh, I'm only bringing it up because that's the only thing I really noticed right off the bat. Um, 
everything else, first glance, first feel, seems about how I left them. Uh, but you also got to remember, when I left Emerson, they had improved a lot of things. They got rid of the backspacer. I like the look of the backspacer. They used to have a G10 backspacer. But how they constructed the knife is they had a series of uh, offset screws that would come through like this side and it would go all the way through the backspacer and screw into either the titanium or the steel on the opposite side. And then this side it would come through the opposite side, this side, this side. And so that's why a lot of people wonder why there's so many screws and why there's so many standoffs. That's why, because they didn't change the amount of holes that they used to have and they needed that many holes because even though you had one, two, three, four screws, it was only ever anchored twice, right? So this one would anchor here, this one would anchor, well, okay, it would only anchor twice per side. That's what I mean, twice per side. So four times total, twice per side. Whereas this technically is anchoring twice on each side. So this is a little overkill for what's needed, but they just kept the same holes. I don't know if that's an economy reason, like they didn't have to uh, redo their jigs. I, I don't know, I'm getting too into the weeds there. Titanium liner, perfect amount of stick. Um, I like a little bit of lock stick. Uh, I don't know why people are so adverse to it. Um, I understand when it's like super sticky and you've got to like pry it open, that's super annoying. But a little click, I mean, I, I kind of like it. I mean, to me, that's one of the benefits of going with titanium. And I think that's one of the reasons Emerson uses it because really Emerson could do a steel liner on that side. Um, you would add a little bit of weight, but negligible. Um, for what it is. And then they would never run into the issue of wearing out a titanium liner, but that stick is like extra security on that lock. You know, just a little bit of stick. Anyways, so here it is. Commander, I can also tell that they removed the year on the logo there. There's no longer a year. They do have the serial number. Um, it's got the usual, like really nice um, grind lines with the... Um, stone wash on there I'm trying to trying to get it cleaned up right there looks really good I would say that the the grind lines almost seem a little finer than what they used to be maybe it's just my memory going but I swear they were more pronounced before and it almost seemed hand groundish I know they weren't hand ground but they were kind of more coarse maybe I'm mistaken maybe this is how it's always looked but Emerson's always had really good blades. Can't wait to carry this. Bit of a surprise. I didn't get a tracking number with it. I didn't know it shipped. I actually reached out to Emerson today and said, hey, when is this going to ship? They sent me the tracking number and it was like, oh, you're going to get in an hour. So that's, that's always cool. I have spent uh, way too much time talking about this particular knife because we have, we have another one here to look at. And this one's cool too. In fact, arguably cooler. Although I don't know if I'm going to talk about it as much as I talked about the Emerson, just because it's not as uh, interesting from a, I don't know, from a standpoint of what is this like now? Here we go. It's another Strider. This one, whew, this is, wow, this is an old school, well, what I would consider See, this one doesn't have a very strong detent. Um, this is what I would consider an old school. It depends on your age um, to determine what you consider old school, what you don't consider old school. I consider these old school. In my mind, anything that is pre-Strider split is old school. Um, anything that is like hinderer lock bar stabilizer, no lock bar stabilizer is super old school or way old school. Uh, other people disagree. Some people would consider this not old school, but I kind of do. So this is, uh, I remember when these came out, they were kind of right as I started to kind of get out of knives and get out of striders is when these were kind of popping up. Uh, it's basically the CC model SMF, but with a solid carbon fiber show side right there. Beautiful knife. This is, uh, I think, 154 CM. Really, really nice. Cool to have this in the collection. It looks like original edge. You just, uh, when you find gems like this, man, you just gotta, gotta snag them. They're few and far between to come across things like this. Absolutely mint, like only, only minor marks here or there. You can tell this thing was probably carried a little lightly and it's probably spent most of its time 
uh, in a safe or uh, in some other kind of collection thing. Need to tighten this pivot up just a touch, not too much. It's pretty, uh, pretty good to go. And uh, beautiful, beautiful knife here. SMF CC. Gotta love it. All right, guys, that's it. Double unboxing Emerson Commander. Let's look at them close together. Look at their sizes here. Emerson Commander Classic and the uh, Strider SMF CC Carbon Fiber. All right, guys, catch you later. I'm out of here.